is uh, Dr. Mamari, and we are. I'm going to perform experiment ten. All our mass of unknown liquid using ideal gas law. Um, when we talk about gas laws, there are Boyle's law, charge law, um, combined gas law. We have Avogadro's law. Um, we are in this part of the experiment. We are only talking using the ideal gas law in order to um, identify molar mass for unknown liquid, which we have to first change it to gas and assume that is going to behave ideally when it's a vapor phase and use the ideal gas law in order to find the molar mass. So in order to find the molar mass, we need the pressure. So basically, PV equals nRT. So we need the pressure based on the setup that you are going to see in this experiment. Container, the container is open to environment. Pressure inside the flask is going to be equal to pressure outside of the flask. We are going to measure the volume, which is the volume of the gas. R is I constant value for ideal gas laws, value 0 0.08205 liter ATM mole Kelvin. What does this unit indicates? So if we are using the pressure, it must be in ATM, volume must be in liter, N must be in moles, and temperature must be in Kelvin. Temperature, how do we measure the temperature? Um, the flask is going to be inside the boiling water is going to be there for like five minutes at least or until everything is vaporized the temperature inside the flask and outside the flask is assumed to be the same so we are going to measure the temperature of the boiling water and record as the temperature for gas so when we have all these variables we have the pressure which we are reading the barometer and it will be provided to you uh, volume we measure experimentally Temperature we measure experimentally. The value for R is given to us. We can calculate number of moles. If we have number of moles and we have the gas, the mass for the sample gas, then we can calculate the molar mass. So the, when we find the number of moles, then we are going to use this formula that everybody knows uh, number of moles is mass divided by molar mass and if you re rearrange the formula then uh, number of uh, molar mass is going to be mass of the gas divided by number of moles of the gas which we are using this the formula in order to find the in order to find the molar mass first from ideal gas law we are going to uh, use these variables and find the value for n, which is number of moles. Then we are going to use equation number three in order to find the molar mass because we measure the mass of the gas. How do we measure the mass of the gas? First, we have the mass of the uh, empty flask. Then we are going to have the mass of the flask plus the vapor. We subtract the values and we get the mass for the uh, for the gas inside the inside the flask and we find the molar mass. The setup for the equation is presented on this page of the lab manual, uh, which is the second one to make sure to know the components, what do you need. Uh, you see the flask is all the way into the hot water, so we measure the temperature of the hot water as the temperature of the gas. And since it's open to the environment, we measure the, the atmospheric pressure and we say it's the same as the gas inside the inside the flask. Now, to uh, follow the procedure, you have the lab manual that you purchased from Vital Source. Um, you have the ebook for this uh, course. And the purpose of the experiment today is for you to get the data. So by watching the video, you are going to record the values for data. You collect your data so you can um, complete your data sheet and uh, finish the calculation and turn in to your professor as an as an assignment.